Shapelax is a plugin that determines anchor point coordinates and creates smooth transitions between them as the mouse moves. It's an excellent choice for designers who want to quickly add animations to projects without diving deep into complex programs. Its strengths are simplicity, flexibility, and the ability to quickly transfer configured animations to developers. How it works? Create a vector shape inside a frame. Duplicate the frame, select the shape, and press Enter to enter anchor point editing mode. Change the point coordinates in the duplicated frame. Open the Shapelax plugin. Start moving your mouse. The shape will smoothly transform. How to control animation direction. If you arrange frames vertically, the animation works when moving up, down. If you arrange them diagonally, the animation works between corners. The position of shapes in the upper right and lower left will be calculated automatically. You can create multiple frames and arrange them in any order. The plugin will take their coordinates into account and build the animation automatically. Eyes following the cursor. Draw eyes looking at the upper left corner. Duplicate the frame and place them diagonally. Move the pupils to the lower right corner as if they're looking down. Launch Shapelax. The pupils will follow the cursor. Note that the upper right and lower left corners will be something in between these two frames. Duplicate more frames and make a sad smile for the character at the bottom of the screen and at the top will make the eyes squint. Now when moving the mouse down, it will become sad, and up, it will squint. Use your creativity to figure out how to use this plugin feature. Like in this example with the cat, the fly follows the cursor, and the cat turns its head as if tracking it. To make this animation more lively, decrease the spring parameter. This will add a trembling effect to the fly. The animation will become more alive. This effect looks great when applied in other places too. For example, with text. Letters stretch towards the cursor and oscillate. It looks very impressive. Library of Ready Examples. You can download Figma file with these examples from the Library tab in the plugin. Study them to understand how complex animations work. To disable smooth object following of the cursor, turn off the smooth toggle. Then, objects will move exactly with the cursor. Variable fonts animate in seconds. Just create frames with different variable font settings. This is a very quick way to get an impressive result on your website. Working features. The plugin analyzes the sequence of all layers in each frame. Don't delete layers. This will break the animation structure. Set layer opacity to 0%. It will become invisible, but the plugin will continue to account for it. Layer order must match across all frames. If you change layer positions, enable name mapping and the plugin will focus on layer names rather than their position. If shapes have different point order and quantity like, for example, the letter H from different fonts, the animation won't work correctly. Enable adaptive points. The plugin changes point sequence. It makes the top left point first. In some cases, this will help you. The plugin supports shape color changes. Avoid cases where the same shape has different numbers of colors. For example, in the first frame, you have one color on a shape, and in the second frame, the same shape has two colors. The plugin supports gradient changes. You can also change the gradient line Don't add different numbers of colors to the gradient. Don't apply blur effect to the layer. It will be cropped.
Create a new frame inside the work area and stretch it to full width and height. Add blur to the frame containing the shape. If you use masks, always activate name mapping. The plugin will correctly match layers. Don't flip shapes horizontally or vertically. This changes point order, and animation may be incorrect. It's better to adjust anchor points or position manually. This way, the animation will work correctly. You can slightly rotate individual shapes, but if you rotate a group of shapes, it will look incorrect. Avoid this. HTML. For demonstration purposes, you can open the resulting file in a browser. This file can be passed to a developer who can insert it on the website through an iframe tag. This saves weeks of developer work and changes can be made very quickly right in Figma. You can also insert it through iframe in Webflow and other builders. GIF and WeBM format. For Figma prototypes and Dribble, Behance portfolios. Unfortunately, the animation will be in video format and interactivity won't work in the prototype. SVG animations are also non-interactive, but they maintain high quality of vector elements and take up little space. For GIF and WebEM and SVG, you can choose from suggested cursor movement scenarios or record your own custom one. Shapelax turns static design into living and interactive. Don't waste time on manual work. Download the plugin, use examples from the library, and start creating.